Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Just doing a quick experiment here today. We're getting ready to head out to the NAM show here in a couple of weeks, and part of getting prepared for that is testing all of the gear we're going to be taking along with us and making sure that everything works the way we expect it to, and we have all the accessories and cables and things to work efficiently. It's going to be a lot of long days walking around convention center, trade show floor kind of situations, so I want to travel as light as possible on this one. And I've gone back and forth, been kind of on the fence as to what I should bring for a recorder in, ultimately I decided to go with this Zoom H6. The reason I did is because with the microphones removed off of this and without AA batteries installed, it's only 10 ounces. So that's really light. It's really small. It offers multiple microphone configurations for doing things like B-roll, getting some stereo uh, background audio. It can record six inputs and it's supposed to go pretty easy on power. So my plan is to power it with the same Jackery 12,000 milliamp hour battery that I've been using for a couple of years now. And back in video number 30, we tested that with the Tascam DR70D and we were able to get 11 hours and 15 minutes of operation out of that unit, uh, recording all four channels. That's a four channel recorder with four channels supplying phantom power uh, and a pair of headphones to monitor. So we've got the same setup here today, kind of testing uh, that plan again with four channels of phantom power along with the stereo microphone on top and a set of headphones. We're recording all six channels uh, completely powered from the Jackery. There's no AA batteries in the unit here at all. We're starting out with a fresh card format and that 16 gigabyte card is gonna net around five hours of record time before filling up uh, with the current settings. Now I started this test way too late in the day again and forgetting how long it would take, obviously. I'm unlikely to ever really actually use it like this. It's hard to imagine a situation where I would need to supply phantom power to that many microphones and record for that long without having access to wall power, especially in this situation. But it's pretty awesome to know I could. By testing this way, I've got the confidence now that I can just leave this unit in my bag all day long turned on and it'll be there whenever I need to reach in and hit record. It'll be ready to go when I need it. So that's one less thing to worry about, which is really nice. I'll do a full review of the H6 when we get back from the show and I'll let you know exactly how it worked out in real world use being in my bag and being my primary recorder for pretty much a whole week of of covering a trade show. Around the 10 hour mark, I found a 64 gigabyte SD card and was able to leave the unit recording through the night unsupervised. Uh, there'll be a few more videos like this, getting things ready. We've got a whole bunch of electrosonics gear I'm going to be taking with us, so we got to test that. I've got some batteries coming in and some different stuff to get all this set up, and I'll go through all the stuff I'm going to be taking before we leave for the show here in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. Pretty much right on the 15 hour mark, uh, it finally shut down. When I got back up a few hours later, there was just enough juice left to squeak out another 10 minutes of recording before finally dying for good. Thanks for watching. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. So great to have so many folks uh, coming over to the channel after seeing the New Year's Eve video. Be sure to check out the website at dcsoundop.com if you haven't already. These videos are made possible by everybody who supports the channel through Patreon, PayPal, and by using the affiliate links below. Thank you so much.